right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Vinny Presents. I'm your host, Vinny from South Philly, and our guest today is from right over the puddle in South Jersey. Is a young <laughs> man I discovered on the boardwalks of Ocean City, New Jersey, and I really enjoyed his music, so did my family. And uh, we talked since then, and I wanted to bring him on. So let me introduce Brian Wilbur. Brian, welcome to the show. Hi, uh, Vinny. Thank you so much. It's an absolute honor and pleasure to be here, and... Uh... And uh, just a wonderful opportunity, and uh, hope I can answer all of your questions. And uh, and yeah. Well, listen, if you can't answer me, take the fifth. It's no problem. Yeah, exactly. We plead the fifth, right? <laughs> Brian. <laughs> um, so again, we we mentioned that you're you're you know you play a lot in South Jersey. Yes, sir. And uh, is that where you're, you're based in, in Jersey, basically, right? Yeah, um, I'm from a Harbor Township, so I play in the general Atlantic City, Ocean City area down here. Um, summertime, of course, as as Vinny said, y'all can catch me on the boardwalk in Ocean City. But right now, I also do play at the Firewater Saloon in Tropicana. That's in the Marketplace section downstairs, Tropicana. And um, I usually play there right now on Sunday nights. Sometimes it does change. I encourage you to follow my social media. That's where I usually post when and where I'm playing um, you can also get there, www.brianwilbertmusic.com. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so right now, Ocean City, Firewater Saloon, and sometimes other places in the South Jersey area. I have also played um, in Central and North Jersey in the past. I've also played at one or two places in Philly. It's been a little while, though, but, um, you know, I'm definitely open to those types of things. Contact me, let me know. But, uh, but yeah, basically, South Jersey is, is where I'm at. So, uh, yep. Well, when we, um, again, we were just walking by and we'd listen to you and I really, I really enjoyed it. And what I love about the shore, you know, whatever shore in South Jersey, particularly is that there's still great performers that are there that are just, you know, kind of grinding it out and, and working for tips on the boardwalk. And, but there's some really good talent out there and it's, it's a lot of fun and it's really enjoyable. Um, so what Thank got, you. what got you started doing that? You know, it, it's it's really interesting. I, I'm not even exactly sure what prompted me to do it. Uh, you know, my, my family encouraged me a little bit, said, hey, you know, give this a try. And I'll never forget, you know, summer of 2016, I had all but a little toy keyboard with six double A batteries in it. And I go up there and and uh, and somehow I made it work. And, uh, you know, people liked it. And so I continued doing it. And then over the years, you know, I upgraded the equipment and slowly got better and better keyboards and uh you know improved the sound and now you know now i sort of do it i guess you could call it semi-professionally up there i'm still playing for tips of course but um semi-professionally um you know and and now i am playing for tips there is talk of me possibly being hired by the city this year so that's that's in the conversation it's being talked about it is not definite yet but uh, we will see how that goes. Follow me on social media again. You'll you'll definitely know about all that kind of stuff. Um, but but yeah, so summer 2016 is when I started on the boardwalk right in the middle of high school. And then uh, and I've been doing it ever since. And I and I love it. I love the community. I love the families. And for me, it's not just about the tips. It, it really is about the community because, you know, I, I've played a lot of different places and I could tell you, there's just nothing like, you know, being out in the open air and getting to meet new people all the time. That's what I love about the boardwalk. You know, it's it's a constant stream of new people, new faces all the time. And there's always something exciting about that. You know, there's there's just there's an energy in the air. People are happy. They're on vacation. It's just it, it, it's it's a great you know, they call it America's greatest family resort. And I stand by their their motto 100 percent. It really is. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I mean, I um. We've been going there since, I guess, 2012 or 13 with the family. And I mean, I was there years ago, even when I was younger. But I mean, I uh, I just discovered a place that is, as you said, a very pleasant community of people, very family friendly, very calm, happy place. And it's absolutely it's a little slice of heaven. And I hope it stays that way. But um, I hope so, too. <laughs> you never I look know, forward right? to it. I literally in, in the cold, ugly months of winter, the only thing that gives me a little bit of hope is thinking about ocean city saying okay well you know in six months we'll be there um, that's right that's right and, it is. and, and meanwhile all of us musicians we are 
learning new music and recording and doing all the other background stuff. We're all getting ready. Um, I'll tell you, the last couple months I've been doing all the branding stuff, you know, updating the website and, uh, you know, got all new business cards, all new stuff, you know, and, and we're all just getting ready for the summer down here. So it's it's sort of like what happens in the springtime. It's like this is our big, you know, work time, if you will to really to really get ready and prepare and and everyone's always excited for it it's 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 the biggest time of the year down here at the shore as i'm sure you can imagine and and we're always super excited for it myself especially and i guess many of us take that for granted you know we don't see what happens during the off season where you guys are preparing a lot and of things cleaning. happen a yeah. lot of things and that's and you know it's it's a delightful thing and i'm sure I mean, I put myself in your shoes. It's always great to see the little kids that are dancing and, and enjoying your music. Always. It, it's just, oh, gosh, it, that's the best feeling in the world. You know, you, so, some little kid dances, you know, or even a couple that enjoys an older song, whatever it is. Uh, you know, it's it's it, it's just awesome. And, and seeing them, you know, finding joy through music and, and it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, that's that's an understatement, really. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can identify. It's definitely a, a, I always say it's like a spiritual experience, you know, and it's really, a, it really helps people. I mean, it's amazing the magic of music, how it can really uplift you uh, in, in the blink of an eye, you know, the song yes, comes sir. on, you're happy. Yep. Now, let me, so let's go back. So now you started, you were in high school. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing maybe like, what, 15, 16? I was, let me see, 2016. I was 17 then. I was a junior. And did you just, what, 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 what gave you the idea? Did someone say something say, Hey, why don't you try going on, you know, the boardwalk in ocean city? What, what I actually... think it was my mom. Um, I, I think it was my family who suggested, Hey, try this. Um, you know, and back then there was no such thing as a, a permit. So, you know, you just did it. You just went up there and did it. Um, and then of course, you know, I think it was like the next year or the year after something like that. Um, you know, the laws began to take effect, which which I do think there there is good to it. Um, you know, I'm not going to comment too much on the program, but, um, you know, it definitely has changed over the years. You know, I've been doing it now. This will be summer number nine, I believe. And, you know, it, it just um, it has changed. But, you know, o overall, uh, it's still the boardwalk. You know, that that fact will not change. And. And the community, we hope that never changes. It just, it's, it's just beautiful. But uh, I, I, to answer your question, I, I think it was my mom who suggested, hey, why don't you take a keyboard up there? So we went, you know, it was like the middle of the summer, middle, late summer, July, something like that. And I just took a little toy keyboard on a, you know, cheap keyboard stand and sat on a boardwalk bench and, uh, and that was it, <laughs> you know, did that, didn't, didn't have a microphone, didn't have anything. How was that and, um, first? How was that first experience like? You know, um, it was exhilarating, and uh, you know, as I said earlier, I emphasize that you know it's not always about the tips, right? I think I made a grand total of like twenty eight dollars or something tiny like that, and and it was still just thrilling. You know, the fact that I actually did that, like someone was kind enough to come over and say, not only say, "Hey, you're awesome," but you know, to put something, it was just awesome. Um, but, but again, for me now, having been done it for so many years, it, it's, it's really more about the community and, and, and that's what I love most. Have you made any um, friendships or like connections with businesses or people down or other singers? Absolutely. And, and I, I think that's, if not just for the community, I think that's, that's the next best part because, because, you know, I, I get to talk to so many business owners, managers, and, and, you know, I get people ask me all the time, when are you playing in front of our store? Where are you, when are you going? You know, and I, I tell them, I'm like, I'll try to get a spot, you know, I'll do the best I can do. Um, but, but, uh, you know, um, curly fries are great. I, I know them three bros, pizza, preps, Mancos. It was, it was really fun. Uh, last summer, my sister was a manager at Mancos. So I would, you know, play across from there and be like, hey, he goes, you know, I would sing Piano Man by Billy Joel. Right. And, you know, they always talk. He talks about the the manager gives me a smile and I, and I would like scream it at the top of my lungs <laughs> and point over there and be like, hey, go see my sister. You know, 
go get a piece of pizza. You know, um, and and I love to promote the businesses too. You know, uh, I'll always say something like, "Hey, go check out the t-shirts at the t-shirt factory." You know, uh, something like that. And 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 you know, it, it's so nice. And oftentimes they'll come over, they'll they'll give me something, or they'll they'll just say hi, or you know. Um, I had uh, a couple pizza places once bring me a whole pie out. I'm like, no, no, I don't need all that. But you know, they did anyway. That was so nice of them. That was very nice, yeah. Yeah. That's so a you hot know, spot. just just an awesome relationship with with the businesses, and um, I I found that they're incredibly friendly, and 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 I love to work alongside them, and 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 hey, if I can help them, you know, by playing music, then it's a joy to do it. It's an absolute joy to do it. Yeah. And listen, I mean, I feel the same way as far as having people like yourself on my program, because I feel like we it's great to support other people and everybody's in it together. And it's just it's a beautiful thing when you just want to help each other. Um, Yes. But speaking of Mancos, that's a hot spot right there. That's that's a very busy uh, spot right there, right in front of Mancos. (laughs) <laughs> yeah well and there's a couple different mangoes i think the one i played most often actually was one of the smaller ones like the a street one that's that's where um that's where i played across most of the time um so but but even even the ninth street they're, they're all good and and um you know my sister she's worked at all of them so they're, they're all good great staff great people there so um i i uh oh man i i don't know what it is i've been to a lot of places i'm not bragging but i mean i've, I've lived in a lot of different places and Originally South Philly, of course, but I mean, lived in LA, lived in Italy, lived in, but for some reason, Ocean City has a very, like, very, very um, uh, a, a precious part of my heart, man. I love Ocean City. I always say it's my happy place. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think there's a lot of people who say that, right? Isn't there like a, I think there's like a Facebook group called Ocean City, my happy place or something like that. I said even before the group, but I mean, there you go. Everybody, everybody's on the same wavelength. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so now, so take us through. Here you are, you're a young guy, you know, just just playing with the, as you said, toy piano or keyboard. And How then to where I'm at now. And then you start to play Tropicana. How does that happen? Yeah. So um last summer, the very end of the summer, it was like August 31st, no less, or um somewhere around there. I think it was my first official performance. And the week before, I uh somebody my um my mom's good friend saw a billboard on the expressway heading into Atlantic City that uh oh musicians wanted at you know Firewater Saloon and you know we had no idea what this place was so we look it up right and uh sure enough uh they wanted musicians so I called in there I was like hey you know I'm a musician uh and, and what I decided to do was offer them you know basically one free hour of music i said you know if you like what i do then you know we could work something out and and if not then i'll be on my merry way you know that's that type of thing and and it worked out great and um you know i just went in there and and played the little saloon piano that they have there now for my performances i bring a keyboard because i like to add drums and other things into the mix but uh but no that's that's sort of how it happened and um Again, great staff there. You know, uh, you know, it's these places all have something in common. There's there's always it's always about the people behind it. There's 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 always, you know, people that that just have big hearts for music that that are, you know, kind, respectful. And and that's what makes it happen. And Firewaters is no exception. They have a great staff, um, you know, great to work with. And um, and that's what makes it all possible. And so now, years ago, actually, I used to work at Carmines many, many years ago. Ah. Too many years ago, probably before you were born. Who knows? But probably I worked at Carmines. I had a lot of good experiences over at the at Tropicana. I thought they, I always thought they had a beautiful place and did a great job there. So I haven't been there in a while. Um, but I have to make I have to make an appearance, especially maybe one of these yeah. nights when you're playing. Um, yeah, come on out on a Sunday night. Sunday night. Um, so. They, you, you went there, you took the shot, and I think that's it's it's very important. I always try to make sure people keep an eye on little, um, little hints. Like the little hint was, you said it was mother's friend driving by a billboard. Like these little things, little these little things that happen that then lead to, to success. I think that that there's no accident behind that. I think that it's meant to be, and um, I completely the whole agree. situation was really meant to be for you. Absolutely. In fact, I, I thank God for it. You know, I, I trust in the Lord and I, and I'm very thankful for, for all the opportunities that he has given me. And I, I believe it was absolutely meant to be. Um, 
and and you know and now now we hope and pray that it leads to more right you always hope to expand and just continue to to uh to branch out and and ultimately give more people joy through music and that and that's that's the ultimate goal for those who are just popping in just a reminder you are watching Vinny presents with guest brian wilbert if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel i appreciate it like leave a comment tell us what you think and also make sure that you check out the description box where you will find all of Brian's links. You support him, get down to the Tropicana, and make sure you stop by and see him play. Um, now, where do you see yourself maybe the next few years, five years, ten years? What would you like to, what would you like to accomplish, or what goals do you have? You know, there's a lot of different paths that I could take, and you know, in addition to performing, I think it's important that I note here that, you know, I also write my own music. I typically don't perform it live because uh, uh, there's, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, number one, I'm still trying to get some of my works copyrighted uh, to protect them and such. Um, but but I'm also a producer and I also can run live sound. You know, I do a lot of these other things um, that a lot of times, you know, when I'm on the performance stage, people don't you know necessarily know about. So, uh, you know, I would love to, you know, maybe do production, although, you know, now with the advent of AI, that's definitely going to change the industry. It's going to change the business and how it all works. Um, so maybe if I'm not directly in music production, maybe uh, working for some company that that is is, is involved with it, um, but maybe more on the back end, um, you know, something more sustainable that way, because music production is definitely going to change um, with with AI. That's I mean, it's I think everyone knows now, you know, sort of the capabilities that, that it has um, or, or at least the, the potential that it has. Um, so, so maybe something in production, uh, but also, uh, you know, I always just want to continue performing, bring joy through music, uh, you know, where, wherever I'm at and whether that's, you know, local, whether that's big time, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, you know, people tell me all the time, go on America's got talent, go on American Idol, do all these things. You know, um, they are complicated. Okay. There are, you know, some very detailed contracts involved. There's all kinds of things like that. Um, you know, I, I definitely have considered it. Um, I have not turned the opportunity down. I'm not saying no, I just haven't said fully yes yet. Um, you know, we're trying to, trying to figure some things out there and, and decide if it's the right move. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of different paths I could go. And right now I'm, I'm sort of looking at opportunities that are presented to me um, as, as well as those, you know, in, in the local area for right now. Um, but, you know, would I be willing to expand and do bigger things um, if granted the opportunity? Uh, almost definitely. You know, I just I, I want to look at all the details, make sure it all works out and um, and take it as it comes. That's great, man. You're uh, you got a good head on your shoulders. You got a good, uh, you know, risk management mentality, and and that's good, man. That's good. That's 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 a sign Thank of a good, you. not only a good performer, but you're a good businessman. Now, before we wrap up, I mean, it's, you know, I don't want I I I don't want to think about the the idea, but someday that day may happen where tragically you may no longer be on the Ocean City Boardwalk. Is that ever a possibility, or will you be there till you can't walk anymore? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I hope to be there as long as I can. And, and as long as it makes sense, uh, you know, as you said, you know, right now I'm 25, I'm a young guy, um, you know, and, and the personality fits it's, you know, everything works, the look, the personality. Um, but you know, I don't think I would be up there if I'm 50, 60, 70, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I would do that. Um, it, it's, I don't think it's who I am as a person, but at the same time, you know, uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop performing. It just means maybe not so much on the boardwalk in the in the kind of context that I do now. Um, so I, I don't think it's a forever thing, but I think it's something that right now I certainly hope to continue at least for a few more years. And, you know, and depending on, you know, circumstances in life, things change, you know, goodness knows. I mean, I might be in Florida next year. God only knows. Right. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen in life, you know. And, and so I'm not going to not going to make any kind of prediction like I'll be here in five, 10 years. I Because because the truth is, I don't know. But do I want to be do I want to be performing on the boardwalk? I love it more than anything. It, it is 
as much as I love fire waters, you know, it could be quiet during the winter and uh, there's, there's nothing like the boardwalk. It's, it's just an incredible venue, incredible community as, as we have discussed in depth here. Um, and, you know, I, I hope to do it for as long as I can, you know, and, and, you know, I, I hope to definitely continue doing it. I love the community and, um, you know, as for how long, I'm not sure, but, but at least for a few more years, I would certainly hope so. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So get to the Ocean City Boardwalk this summer while you while while he's still around. Okay, that's before, right. Before you 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 get on the national stage, as they say. But you know, Brian, I I uh, it, it, with all joking aside, I mean, it's uh, you got something about you. You have a, a good, honest character about you. I could see, I could see how you are, and that's why I'm delighted to have you on this this program. I hope it helps you in your career, and I hope people that are watching. If you're anyone that maybe has a connection with something in the industry or maybe a business owner or something like that, please, I really encourage you to reach out to Brian and maybe hire him or maybe push him to uh, some connection that might help him and his future out because that's what we're about. This is also a community in itself, and I, I really like to see everybody helping one another out. Um, Brian, Thank any so much, last man. words? Thank you. You're welcome. And what I'd like to also i usually like to have um some encouragement for the audience so if you're a young person watching this young girl or boy watching you and there may be like my my kids age 10 12 years old and they're watching and they 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 play a little bit of an instrument or maybe they sing but they're a little nervous what would you say to encourage them don't quit that that is the biggest thing i would say because you know there there have been times i i've been through a lot of stuff and you can read about my full story on my website and everything and blah 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 but you know I've been through a lot of stuff and a lot of us have, but, and I know there's people that have been through a lot more than me, you know, before I see that in the comments, like, no, I know there's people that have been through more than me, but with everything that I've been through, you know, there have been moments where, you know, you, you want to quit because, you know, the business gets hard at times or, you know, you know, you get rained out for two weeks in a row. It happens, you know, stuff like that happens. Um, you know, you go through emotional stuff in your life, you know, family changes, um, you know, all kinds of things happen. And what I would just encourage you with, no matter what happens, don't quit. Keep trying, keep doing it. And and even if you have to take a break for a while, that's okay. I did that once. Uh, there was like a year, I think when I was 12, 13 or something, 13, 14, something like that, where I didn't play piano for like a while. And I came back. And let me tell you, I'm very glad that I did. And, you know, it's never too late to start again, not only for, for the children, but maybe you're 30, 40, 50. It's not too late. It's not too late to come back. And, you know, no matter what you're going through, I just want to encourage you also, like, you are worth it. You are loved. Your music is important. Um, and what you do, if you're doing music and you're bringing joy to even a single person, you are you are doing art. And you are doing something beautiful that that deserves recognition, that is absolutely worth all the time, effort, practice. It's all worth it. I promise. Beautifully said, Brian. We're going we're gonna leave that on a high note, man. Really beautifully said. And through the grace of God, I hope that you achieve all your dreams and more and beyond even what you dream of. So keep up the great work, Brian. And please, everyone, again, make sure you go to the description box, follow him, go to his website, support him in any way possible. Any last words, Brian? I uh, just hope that everyone here has a great day. Make sure you subscribe to, to Vinny from Vinny here. Vinny presents. He's got the best YouTube channel for all the interviews of, of musicians, actors, all kinds of great people. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you, Brian. You're a good man. You're the first person that's done that. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Absolutely. Well Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. You've been watching myself, Vinny, with the wonderful Brian Wilbert. And I really wish that you – uh, will continue to support my channel. And again, last appeal, Brian's the man. Get down to that Tropicana. Get down to the Ocean City Boardwalk and support this young man. And for now, we're going to say goodbye. But remember, the important message, as Brian said, don't give up. Don't give up. And Thanks the, again, the last word I could tell you, encourage someone, change a life, illuminate the future. Beautiful. And guess what? Listen to those words because they're absolutely true and beautiful. Brian, thank you, everyone. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.